Okay, let's now do 4.2. So it says, four more friends will be joining Pete and Roland. They will travel by car and use a trailer to transport their motorcycles. To protect the motorcycles from damage, they need a 20 centimeter space around all four sides of the motorcycles, okay? So it tells us that the length of the motorcycle is two to nine centimeters. I'm just gonna highlight these because I think they're gonna be important. The height is 125 and the width is 86, okay? So below is the layout plan of the four motorcycles placed onto the trailer, okay? So we see that there's four motorcycles, they have a 20 centimeter all around them. And then we see there's also like a space, right, between the trailer and the motorcycles, okay? Then it says um, the outer dimension of the trailer. So this here, these like thick dotted lines. I'm actually going to do it in color just so that we know what's cracking, lacking. Okay, so you go like this. Oh, wow, that was very square. My bad. Okay, right, the outer dimensions of the trailer with a length of... 550 centimeters and a width. So this here is 260 centimeters in width and the length is 550 centimeters of this outside pink line. Okay, right? Let's see what the questions ask us, right? So it says, use the sketches above to answer the questions that follow. Calculate the minimum length required to safely place two motorcycles, one behind the other. So we're looking at it this way because they're behind each other. This is next to this is behind each other, so it's important to understand the words being used. Onto the trailer, taking into account the precautionary measures above. The precautionary measures, you might be like, what's that? They're talking about the 20 centimeters on each side, right? So what we have to add together is the 20 centimeters plus the length of the motorcycle, plus 20 centimeters, plus 20 centimeters, plus the length of the motorcycle, plus 20 centimeters. Okay, so it's just saying, taking into account those precautions. Okay, what is the length? We know the length equals 2 to 9 centimeters. So let's write down what we need to. It's 4.2.1, right? So the total length that we're looking for here is going to equal 20 centimeters, right? So that 20 centimeters plus this length, 2 to 9 plus 20 centimeters, plus 20 centimeters, plus two to nine, plus 20 centimeters. Okay, that is the length required to safely place two motorcycles, one behind the other onto the trailer. So that's how much space we actually need. Okay, so let's now see what this all equals. Put this into your calculator. 20 plus 229 plus 20 plus 20 plus 229 plus 20. So I'm getting 538 centimeters. That is the length that we need to put two motorcycles, right? Two motorcycles behind each other, taking into consideration the precautionary space to make sure they don't get damaged. Let's now look at 4.2.2. So now we've done that, right? Now it says, if the two motorcycles are placed in the center of the trailer, right? So basically, remember when something's in the center, it's directly in the middle, okay? D will be the equal distance on either side of the width of the trailer as shown in the diagram. So it's basically saying, this is the, the space on either side of the trailer, right? That is not needed necessarily um, as part of the either the, the um, width of the motorcycle or the 20 centimeters precautionary space on either side. Okay, so it's like the excess space. Okay, it says calculate in centimeters the value of D. So we know that this full width over here is 260, right? So I'm going to say 260 minus the 20 minus the width. The width equals 86 minus 20 minus 20 minus the width of 86 minus 20. So it's quite similar actually to the previous question. Then whatever we're left with will just be the two Ds, right? So it'll be this length plus this length. Then we can just divide it by two to get the length of one, okay? So let's firstly find out what the length is, right, of the space on either side added together. So I'm gonna say 260 minus 20, minus the width of the motorbike, 
minus 20, right? Minus 20, minus 86, right? So we've got 20, 86, 20, 20, 86. We're taking this all away because this is all space that's going to be used by the motorcycles, right? If you're not following, just keep doing what I'm doing here. You should get there, okay? So let's see how much space is not used by the motorcycles and by the precautionary space around the motorcycles, right? The precautionary space is used just to make sure they don't bump each other or scratch each other. So the only thing that's left is eight centimeters, right? So there's eight centimeters that is not used between the space here, okay? But it says it's bang in the middle, right? So we can't say this equals eight centimeters because then that one would be zero, right? These two Ds equal each other. So there's two of them. So we say eight centimeters divided by two gives me four centimeters, which is the length of D, okay? It's the length of D on each side. Because it's in the middle, it means that it has the same distance on either side. So it's four centimeters over there, and four centimeters over there. Okay, a little bit of a trickier question. You sort of have to wrap your head around it. But if you didn't get that, go over what I've done again and see whether you get that. It's all about understanding what is the actual scenario. Okay, let's go into question five. Almost done.